so Hirschsprung's disease is a condition where there is no nerves in the lower part of the colon or the rectum. So what happens is that because there's no nerve in the lower part, the colon or the rectum goes in a spasm like that. It closes. So now the feces cannot go through it and the child cannot evacuate his feces. So it's a form of obstruction. And we call this a functional obstruction because the structure is there but the function is not there. Therefore, when the child is born and has problems evacuating his feces, often we suspect Hirschsprung's disease and the diagnosis is made by something called a rectal biopsy. Most of the children will have a short segment Hirschsprung's whereby only about 10 to 20 centimeters of uh, bowel lower down is affected. And therefore, in this situation, we can do something called a washout. We introduce a small tube to evacuate the feces until which point where the child will require definitive surgery. The definitive surgery will involve cutting off the abnormal part lower down and joining normal part into the bottom part of the anus so that there's functional ability for the child to evacuate his feces. The traditional operation will involve either a cut in lower abdomen about five centimeters in size so that they can mobilize the intestine uh, from the top and then join the intestine to the bottom end. Some people are doing the surgery all from the bottom end, which involves stretching the anus quite significantly so that they can get access to the uh, colon to be brought down through the anus. This involves pulling on the very important and sensitive muscle, which can eventually lead to incontinence of the muscle. The laparoscopic method involves mobilizing the intestine from the inside using small incision on the abdomen. Once mobilized, we make the rest of the operation through the bottom end and pull the abnormal part through the uh, anus and join the normal part of the uh, colon down to the anus. This involves very little retraction on the bottom end and very little mobilization and interference to the normal structure from the top end. With the minimal incision to the top end and the bottom, the child recovers so much faster.